Hey everyone, just another Tesla guy here. I finally got actual smart summon for my car along with full cell driving version 12.5.4. So more videos of full cell driving to come, but here I just want to do a quick video of summon to see how it will perform. So here my car, as you can see, it's in a parking lot, it's raining, probably the best case to use summon since you may have just gotten out the mall and you don't want to get wet. So why not summon your car to you to pick you up? So here you can see I have a feed of what I'm seeing what the car is seeing along with what the app is showing when you have the app open. So let me know if you want to see something like this or if you prefer only to see one out of the, one out of the three, two out of the three, or all of them. Um, all right, let's give it a go. So first thing to do is to open up the Summon app. And then you can see my car just kind of wakes up for that. And here you can see a live feed of what the car is seeing with its cameras. And for the car to come to me, I have to continuously hold onto the button, come to me. So let's try that and give it a go. So let's tap and hold the button. Here you can see a car waking up and backing out of its spot. It's moving slowly, inching slowly, or fully so. Now it's turning its car around to try and get into a spot here and drive straight towards me. You see it's backing out the spots perfectly and it's turning a little, turning its wheels. And once it goes, so if I were to let go of the button, the car would just stop moving just like that. Now for it to continue to move again, I have to hold on to the button. But before it, I do that, you can kind of see there are empty spots here for the car to just drive straight to here like a regular human driver would do. But you can see that Summon, it's not doing that. So that just kind of proves it's doing the safe thing. It's driving on paths that are meant for cars and not going through these empty spots even though it fully can do so. But here, let's finish up this and let's continue to hold on to the Summon button. Oh, sorry, the Come To Me button. And you can see a car actually come straight to me and you can see me standing right here um, once the car made its turn you can kind of see me right here but car turning right at me empty spot and here i am in the video and the car should be just right coming straight at me and it comes straight to me which is perfect all right that's the video that's it's applauding for the setting that i have set up so there's some settings here for actual smart summon one is a completion sound when it finishes its drive then there's a mission on a board if you want it to make a sound if it stops using actual summon and then there's a bumper clearance which is the one that you can customize how much space it has before it stops moving so by default it's 24 inches but you can go all the way up to uh, 48 inches so i'm just going to leave it on by the default at the 24 inches and then there's a continuous push where you continuously hold on to the button to use actual smart summon and then we have standby mode, which is for it to quickly get into the summon. Um, I have it off just to conserve some battery, but if you have it on, it just more quickly wakes up and gets into summon right away. All right, and these are the two new settings of um, Extra Smart Summon with this new update. But that's um, summon, summon the car streets at me. So let me know what you think about this one down in the comments. I'll do more videos of it. Any more difficult scenarios, let me know and I'll give it a try. So here's another clip of me using actual smart summon to summon my car to me. I was standing in the same location, but the car decided to take a different route this time. However, you can see that it actually stopped working because it says there could be a potential collision, which isn't true because we can see that it's clear. So what the car had to do was the car had to summon me to the car and I had to get in the car and drive away myself.